Okay, so let's talk about the transmission of the fear of change. Now, there's kind of a frustration tone to some of these transmissions. It's almost as if they're saying, come on now, like work with us. We can't do it without your consent. Um, which I think is interesting because they're, they're not asking for blind consent at any point and they're not asking to even have control over us or they're just asking us to participate, um, to be more active and to recognize when we are, um, avoiding change because we're afraid. Um, the transmission offers a nice clearing of trusting and kind of recognizing the change is constant and kind of guaranteed. Um, but there's in the transmission, there's also kind of just this, like, this has to be done. Um, uh, there's a one point where they say, you know, there's no stage of the flowering flower that is wrong. You know, the bud state, the flowering state or the wilting away and, you know, the flower dying. Um, they kind of use that as a reference of like, this is to not be in judgment of what stage you're in of change and to kind of let the stages of change be, you know, kind of carrying you through as kind of that miracle promise that things are always changing. Thank goodness. Right. Um, so I just really notice in this transmission that, and the clearing itself is very much going through as they often do the chakra systems and they kind of clearing out, um, programs and kind of mindsets and kind of offering suggestions about how you might reframe things. So, and that is one of the things I really like about the light council too, is they're always offering like a reframing or, or let go of the way that you think things are and let us kind of show you what things can be. So I encourage you to check it out if you haven't already. I just also encourage you to check in with your own resistance to change. If you're feeling resistant to change, is that serving you and how can you maybe let that go? All right, go be amazing.